What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to look at a curiosity photo. It's from Sal 3306. Now the first thing that caught my attention was, well, it's kind of dark, but I looked at the very top edge of this hillside. I noticed some squares and other shapes. But when you go to the bottom of the so-called hill, there's some rather interesting rocks, and we're going to have a look at those. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Okay, you can find it right here. It's a Sal 3306 right nav cam or navigation camera. And you can see the description right here. It says this image was taken by right navigation camera on board NASA's Mars rover Curiosity on Sol 3306. And you can see it's right here. It's 11th month, 23rd, 2021. And of course, image credit goes to NASA JPL Caltech. Now you can enlarge this by doing this and just have a look folks. Just on the raw photo right here at the top right of this ridge, you can see what looks like squares and all kinds of weird stuff going on here. Question is, are these nothing more than rocks? Let's just jump right into this in Photoshop. This is cool. Here's the photo. What we're going to do is we're going to brighten it up and see if there's anything of any value. Jump over to that right edge. And let's have a look. Check out these items. Right here. Look at the squares right here, especially on the right inside of this oval circle. Check that out. Just that alone. Nothing more. If I was to do this, looks awfully dark, doesn't it? But let's brighten it up, like I said, and there you go. Now, let's have a look at the rest of the photo, because this is cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple little pieces. Then we're going to do a full enhancement, and I'm going to circle these, and then show arrows to be more precise at the things we're looking at. Now, when I first saw this area right here, in white, I knew something was there. No doubt about it. So we're going to enhance that. And all of the little lines that happen to be in this whole hillside. And I think you'd be amazed at just what's in here. Again, inside that circle alone, doesn't look like a whole lot until we start getting into it. This in the back, look at the way these are on this hillside. Not doing anything other than making the photo brighter. That's it. Check this out. Look at the shapes inside that. You see a couple circles, a couple squares, so on and so forth. And it's on this hillside. This area right here has some interesting shapes in it. But like I said, without further ado, let's just jump right into this. Let's fully enhance it. Let's put some circles around here and you guys can tell me what you think. Now again, looks like a bunch of mumbo jumbo, right? Let's have a look. This area really came out and I didn't think it was going to come out looking like this, to be honest with you. This right here. Look at this area circled in yellow. Check that out. It looks like some kind of weird frame. Now, if I was to go back, watch what happens. What you'll see is these three in a row, it looks like rocks, right? Watch. That's what they look like. But as soon as I started to burn this, this frame-like object came out. So they want you to believe that these are nothing more than rocks. But are they? These here. Look at this one up, up at the top. It kind of looks like it's square, and you can see the shadow echoing that, okay? But once you burn this way, they're not rocks. They're actually openings. Watch this. They're actually openings. There's a frame around these. So my guess is there's a frame, and what you're seeing is actually darkness, meaning inside this pile of whatever this thing is, right? Jump down here. This could be 50-50, but it's just interesting how right here we have this arch shape looking area and these rocks don't quite look like rocks but let's say 50 50 we can go with that right so it could be either or that's right here again we're looking at the shapes here folks right so you got to get your mind off the rock thing it's not so much the rock itself but the shapes that are near these so-called rocks and how these things happen to join each other right i find this a pretty interesting alone just this piece right there slide it on over this is where it starts to get really really cool i'm going to put these four circle areas right here and then we're going to zoom in the one in the top right and i don't mean the very small one at the very top the one in the top right that thing is without a doubt in my opinion a machine let's zoom in to this one first and check this out Again, look at the small circles, different shapes, 
The whited areas, well, half of it's covered up because of manipulation. But look at the small shapes and little circles and little pieces in this very left-hand side. You get this triangular shape object. You can see the very tip of it on the left corner. It's white. A little bit of white here and there. But the rest of it's been taken out. Like they put like this light gray instead of the white that it actually is, right? This over to the right. Check this out. Look at this thing, folks. Now, is this in the photo? Let's see. Watch how hard this thing is to get out. They took the depth out of it by taking out the lines. Take out the lines, take out the shadows. The funny thing about it is I can see the shadows right here. Going like this. But they took most of that out so you cannot see it. Now, full enhancement. Check that out, folks. Again, areas with circles and things like this. What is that? That whole area, that to me, screams mechanical. This little one up here in the middle. Check that thing out. It has what looks like a small ball, and then look at the shape of it facing us. That to me doesn't look like a rock. This object here. Its surroundings looks like it's cut out so this thing can sit inside it. Or somehow the dirt and everything kind of built up around. Who knows, right? Again, the top. Now that it's enhanced. And folks, look at this. Just look at the shapes in this whole area. Mostly on the right-hand side. Down here. Check this thing out. Now, let's throw some arrows on it so we can be more precise at what I was really looking at. Notice how half this piece in the lower right is white, the rest of it goes off towards the back, and it's actually this darker gray, but you can still see the shape of it through that manipulation. This item here with the two arrows, there's a couple items sitting right there. This thing looks like it's in some kind of weird slotted area, this left arrow. The one on the right looks like it has some kind of I'm not even sure what to make of that. I mean, some people may see it as an animal vertebrae or uh, some kind of weird framing. I don't know. And then, like I said, the one on the left has that weird slotted area with something inside of it. This thing looked like it had some weird pipe or horn type thing. I'm, I'm, I don't mean like from a car. I mean, it just has that weird pipe. Watch this. When we take that back off, you can see that. I'm going to go back and forth with that. Notice the little circle right here. Yeah. And like I said, this object over here. I love the way this thing is designed. I don't know if these are miniature people and these are miniature structures. I haven't got a clue. But to me, that doesn't look like your typical rock or something you would see in nature. Again, this top one right here. Look at the way that thing is shaped. This item here, like I showed earlier. This thing's wild because it looks like it has this weird opening or it's part of something and it just happens to have this design where it looks like a doorway opening of some sort. Who knows? But funny enough, when you look at this, there's a bunch of other shapes on the ground. For instance, here. You can see this here if you look at it. Again, we're looking at objects that don't appear or landscape that doesn't appear to be natural. Like when you see that there, right? I mean, does that look like it's nature that would cut away the ground like that? No. Clearly, there was something here. And again, we're trying to peek through the manipulation. This right here. I just noticed this now. I'm not sure what to make of this thing. It looks like a couple mechanical parts and something underneath this manipulation. Yeah. And like I said, it's on this hillside. And folks, when you see things like this, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Okay, intelligently made. But why is all of this on this hillside? 
Did it come from something from above? Hmm. I've said this before in a video. I'm guessing, and I could be wrong in this, but I have a strong feeling that all of this at the top, in this sunshine and this gray sky, all of that there is false. It is definitely 100% false. That, I believe, is fake. And I also believe there's actually structures above this area. And this is what all of this stuff is falling down from. Think about it. How would you get these things just laying there? If the majority of these are mechanical in nature, how are these things coming down off this hill Unless something either, A, they're very small beings, which I don't know about that. I'm kind of 50-50 on the fence about that. But let's say that they are. Then it would make sense. They're all over this hillside. If they're not, and these are bits and pieces of mechanical objects or whatever they may be, then I believe this skyline is absolutely fake. And they're blocking out what's actually really there. And it could be other structures, small structures, and they completely obliterated. And what we're seeing is parts of those items laying on the ground, right? That's just my opinion, folks. I'm not saying that's absolutely true. Of course, you guys can give me your take on it. We're going to go from right to left. Tell me what you think. And we can go down to the bottom ones here. Again, look at the little details that the arrows are pointing at. Things that make you go, hmm. Uh, Again, the different shapes, not so much what you think is a rock, it's the surrounding pieces and the shapes that are there. Are these natural? My opinion, no. Of course, as always, you folks get the final say. And there you go. Folks, I said this before and I'll say it a million times. I believe they're hiding what's on top of these hills. I believe that they're structures and not the skyline. I believe there's much more to it. Again, if you get a bunch of these mechanical parts of things laying down, it looks like it came down from the hill. Clearly, there has to be something at the top of the hill for them to either break off from or be obliterated from. Call it what you will. Somehow, those things came from the top down and rolled down the hill. Now, again, is it possible that there's small beings on Mars? Again, 50-50 mm, on that. But if it is possible, then these structures are small and they're just on the hillside. They're built into the hillside and on the hillside. As always, folks, throw your comments down below and let me know what you think. I'm curious to see what you got to say. And please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, many more to come. Got some more moon, and I'm going to try to knock out that Antarctica like I promised you guys. So stay tuned for that. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.